All right, here we go. This is game one between Punktronica and Ed, named for Tipsy 3000's February 1v1 Iron Man Ladder. And we are once again on Simple. Simple proving to be a very popular map here in this in this ladder. Um, they are both bombers. Ed named uh, opting to go with the Steampunk and Punktronica opting to go with the... I forgot what this one's called. Tom... I know it's a Tomcat Striker. Oh, okay, I gotta... gotta refresh myself on variant names but oh no ed forgot dillos <laughs> he's got longhorn and uh punk tronica is going also with longhorn um you, you you really see this build pretty much every single time on simple you uh but ed right now did not do the whole pre-make a uh uh money maker thing and punk did grab creeps ed made soldiers and is not going for punks close. Oh man, or forward. He is. He had to pass it up and go for the close, but did get taken down in the process because that is a damn space bar fail. Ed says, "Well, that does happen every once in a while." Um, so punk does have this close or his forward pretty well secured. He did not take the um, what's it called? That that last jackal out of there. So it will eventually take out all of the bulbs for his outpost for that power station eventually. Okay, now he finally does it. He did get two bulbs down eventually. And now Ed putting down a patcher, taking out this neutral, gonna get the salvage. So the extra credits will help, except Punk already has ratchets in this area, and Ed named almost dead, and he is trapped between the cliff and the rocks, but he does level up, so he is able to get away there. Wow. But Punktronica does see this patcher and it does get taken out. Now Ed doesn't really have too many units out here on the field, especially close to the uh, mid outpost. He has a lot of them guarding the close. And Punktronica pretty much cleared all the neutrals on his side of mid. Ed just dropping random creeps just for the just for the harass purposes. Um, and just making more tanks. I guess he's planning to eventually push out with these tanks. And Punk dropping runners, but Ed will kill these in two swipes. And Punk bringing more runners. Is he gonna? He's not taking mid yet. He is going for the close, which is very well guarded. It will be pretty useless. And he will try. No, he does not try to drop for the moneymaker harass, but he does get taken out right by Ed right there. And now Ed has an opportunity to do whatever damage he can in this short amount of time that Punktronica has to respawn and he is going for a moneymaker will he be able to get this M punk is going for the infantry instead of the moneymaker protection and he does uh ed does a uh, is able to get it taken killed whatnot punk dropping the seeker deterring ed there and taking him out when he's uh on his retreat ed did a little bit overextend there should have probably got out of there earlier than he did Especially with the Seeker that was dropped next to him. Now Punktronica grabbing creeps to once again get this forward, but Ed is continually dropping actually, and he will keep that neutral. Punk killing the neutral there for EXP, not going to get a salvage off like Ed did with that other tank. But here we go, Ed is taking all of his Longhorn at this close, and he is doing a push. It looks like he is going for this forward for Punk, he probably did set that to attack. And he is splitting his units. He is sending some to mid, and he is sending some to this bottom outpost here. Punktronica will be... He, he does see the green line right now on his minimap. Ed does go down to Punk with that Seeker drop. But what is Punk going to do with it? He is, instead of defending, he is going for Moneymakers. Though that line of tanks is going for his outpost, or he's going, he's going for his fort there. Uh, Punk does get away. He does uh, try to retreat, but Ed is chasing him down. I do not think he'll get away. He does get taken out there by that, by uh, that was weird. Oh, I guess by that seeker. And now Ed is uh, ha has a fat line of tanks right there, going for Punk's uh, main outpost, uh, his fort. But he Punk is bombing it right now. I would assume that maybe he would probably land on the low ground, and start attacking. Uh, from below the bridge, but Ed is here to start microing the uh, his t Longhorn around the fort here for uh, and is is doing a pretty good job. A lot of them did get taken out. He has three Longhorn here. Punk does take one out and two left. One is very low. One that one was smoking black, and now he is going to be able to fin finally clean this up. He did pretty much get a quarter of his life out of there, and also Ed was able to take the the forward here from Punk. 
Now, Ed has this pretty secure. He has one Seeker, two Seekers, and three Longhorn around this outpost. And now, right now, Plantronica did get taken out just there again. And now, Ed has a pretty good, firm hold on this outpost. He has a lot of units there, and he is just doing a bombing right here. And Punktronica has no choice but to deal with these uh, incoming creeps. He does grab runners. He is probably going for this outpost here, but there are too many units here. He's not going to be able to do anything, and Ed is able to take him out in the <laughs> on his uh, journey there. He was kind of retreating because uh, a, an infantry drop would have done practically nothing at that point. And now Punk oh, has just, just doing bombing right now. He is pretty... It is pretty even right now in terms of the unit count and the uh, and the upkeep count right now. It's 54 to 47. It was 51 just now for Ed. But uh, Punk's units are all right here sitting there at mid. They, uh, the, uh, the artillery are pointed toward the this outpost, this power station. But it's it's really not doing much. It is going for the 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 base instead of the units. And now Punk has a small force of units right there. But, and Ed's starting to drop units. They do get taken out pretty quickly by Punk. He is able to land there on the low ground and get that attack off. And now Ed fairing it one, fairing these Longhorns one at a time. There are dwindling forces here for Punktronica, although he does have control of mid right now. There are creeps firing up against it, and a, a neutral T-99 still is right there. And Ed now bringing units to Punk's fort. Does not really drop it out of the out of the way of fire there, but Punk is forced to come back and respond, which does give Ed a small opening to try to attack these units here next to his mid outpost. And Punk finally kills this one Longhorn that was dropped. And Ed, but Ed is having a field day, shoot, or just slashing up these this big glob of units right next to mid. And he is able to save one Longhorn there. He drops it down, and Punktronica has no choice but to try to deal with the couple creeps that just, just pun, pun not intended, but creep up on this mid outpost here, because he doesn't have any units on the other side to protect from it. He has to really split his forces, especially since Ed has a pretty good concentrated amount of units here, and uh, right here at his close, there is a secret protecting it. If I were Punktronica, I would probably try to hit this forward, because it only has one jackal on it. And now there are a lot of units everywhere on the field for Edname. There are some creeps over. Here. There are some creeps coming up on the side here, and uh, there are always creeps coming up on mid over here. Now Punktronica is dropping infantry here at the close for Ed, but it's really not going to do anything, especially since he has four bunkered infantry to protect from that. It's not even going to take out a bulb completely without, uh, you know, without all those infantry being gone. Uh, they are going to just sit here. Actually, they are. They were taken out by the incoming infantry for Ed, but Punktronica does take this forward, this power station from Ed, but he, there are so many green infantry here that it's going to be hard for Punk to keep it. It does go back down to neutral, and two two creeps for each uh, team goes in, so it does stay completely bulbless, but Ed grabbing creeps, he, this is a closer outpost to his fort than Punk's, so creeps are much e more easily grabbable for Ed name, but he is low on life here, but Punktronica gets taken out by those Seekers there, and Ed, he almost had that kill on Ed, but it, it, he just got too close to those Seekers, and Ed did back out in the right direction. Now dropping a Longhorn on the fort, gonna take some damage out. It was hitting the front door for a moment, but Punktronica is blocking here, is forced to, to get up, to heal up, because he almost died, and Ed slashing almost did take him out. Ed is level 7. It has the lead in levels right now. Let's see if Punktronica can try to mass up a force of units. He has 3 Longhorn right now. He is pushing it forward, and he has lost control of mid. There are no more blue units there. Now, he is taking those extra Longhorn that were sitting over there on the ledge on the top right there. But And he is taking infantry. So Ed decides right now to deal with the infantry that Punktronica is dropping. Probably a good decision. And these Longhorn that are coming in for Punktronica are going to get pretty quickly taken out, especially since Ed is here to support with his melee. And Punktronica jumping right in the middle of those units right there, getting taken out very quickly. Those There were two, three Seekers sitting there with all the Longhorn shooting up, up with him. And now Ed has a berth that will take, that will take care of any incoming creeps and will handle any um, just miscellaneous stray units that come through. And now Punktronica queuing up runners doesn't have too much in the bank right now. Not especially compared to Ed named. Right now the upkeep count is 22 to 56. There is a lot of units out on the field right now for Ed named. It's 25 units to 6 units. And Punktronica is now 
a force to pretty much turtle at his fort, especially since there are he has no more map control. Is uh, Ed almost completely can, took this forward outpost right here, or this close, and now is starting to to do a tank push. Is gonna completely skip this close outpost for Punktronica. And four infantry are even, four creeps are even just walking straight through into that outpost and has two green bulbs up. Punktronica is trying to do some bombing, but there are too many Longhorn coming through here. He's not going to be able to take care of it in time. He is going to, no, he doesn't drop on the low ground. He drops on the bridge, which gets him under heavy fire. Ed does go down right there to that hat, and there's actually two hats right there. Now Punktronica is on the low ground right next to the bridge and gets is getting off massive damage on this tank line that's just sitting there. But a lot of damage also going down on Punktronica's fort. Now there's still one Longhorn Hiller, so he's not able to like do other things right now. He has to uh, take care of that. But okay, it is finally down. But Ed is bringing one straight to the front door, and he has four more in queue. This is gonna. This is looking very bad for Punktronica. Now he has the close outpost and is starting to move units all around the fort, trying to get a good uh, spread there. And putting a lot on the front door, there are two going straight for the front door right now. Uh, it's amazing how they know to shoot at the front door instead of directly in front of them sometimes. And he has four tanks here, and it do this <laughs> this game does go to Ed Name. Very amazing play there by Ed Name is <laughs> finishing off the rest of the units and uh, stuff around his outpost there. But that is game one. 1-0 Ed Name. Stay tuned for game two.